congratulations are in order as Daryl Clark recently celebrated his two-year anniversary as manager of Bristol Rovers and what an incredible couple of years it's been. Not only did he get the club promoted from the conference at the first time of asking last season, which is pretty much unprecedented, but he has the same group of players, having spent virtually no money last summer, competing for a second successive promotion this year from League Two. With that in mind, it's hardly surprising that Clark has established himself as the most highly rated young manager in the Football League, and he recently won the League Two Manager of the Month award for March after Rovers won six of their seven league games. However, it hasn't all been a bed of roses for Darrell at Bristol Rovers. If the board of directors had lost their nerve in mid-2014, Darrell may well have been out of a job. Clark was appointed manager in March 2014 and oversaw the final few games where Rovers were ultimately relegated to the conference for the first time in their proud 130-year existence. It was the most embarrassing moment in the club's history and as Clark selflessly assumed responsibility for it, the directors were looking at the possibility of making a change. But they couldn't afford to do so and thus Clark retained his position and he's more than proved his worth. As Bristol Live sports correspondent, I've got to know Darrell really well over the last couple of years. The turnaround that he instigated after the relegation was out of this world because I thought for all the world that Rovers would end up being one of those football league teams that go down and struggle to adapt in the conference. But that wasn't the case at all. He brought in a group of players that wanted to be here, a group of players that had the quality to challenge at the top of the table. And after a slow start, that's exactly what they did. And Darrell's continued that good work this year. He's just built on it. Rovers don't have the best team man for man against other League Two sides. They just don't. There's so many more better players technically in this division. But in terms of a team and a cohesiveness within that unit, Rovers are up there with the very best. And I think it isn't beyond the realms of possibility that Rovers could be playing in League One next season, which tells you all you need to know about the job Darrell has done here.